then what's up? And then with a little bit of... Yo, we have less than two weeks left. And it's a terrible angle to film from. Uh, there we go. Will that work? Oh, that almost worked. There we go. Yeah, that's using your head. All right. So we have less than two weeks left of this prep now. And look, for me, I, I've been thinking about this for a while. You have to think about this for a while. And that is life after prep. What is the plan? You can't really say your contest prep went well if that stage after the show, the soft landing, if you didn't execute that correctly. So I think it's a good time to share with you guys what I'm planning to do. I think the most obvious question that comes to mind is like from a body weight, body fat standpoint, what's the plan to do? Very simple, I'm gonna jack that thing up because this body weight, this body fat, um, it's just no good to me outside of prepping. <laughs> Like if I want to make progress, if I just want to have the sort of life uh, that I enjoy outside of just training, like I, I can't be living here. So this body comp specifically, it's real only purpose is to get up on that stage. So I'm gonna try to get out of here as soon as possible. I will use the recovery diet model. We we have that OG video here. Uh, we have a podcast on it and just recently released a free course check this out like this is news to you like how, how do i employ the recovery diet uh whether like your season's ending soon like my own uh or something to make note of for uh maybe next year you plan to compete next year free course check that out but essentially the in like two three weeks i'm gonna go from like 160 to over 170 hopefully the mid 170s that would be nice. And truthfully, if there was a pill that I could take that would put on, like I could take this pill and boom, my body fat is back to the mid-teens, I'd take that. I would take that because that means like, oh yeah, we're ready, crack some knuckles. It's time to make some gains. And I think it's important that maybe you won't be there after your first prep, for sure you won't be, uh, but eventually after you've had a few under of uh, these preps under your belt, it's important that you get there. Contest prep physique should not be the only body comp that like you really, really appreciate. I, I, I'd say I have three bodies, three bodies in all that I wear, right? So these are the, my three outfits contest prep thing that i'm doing now where legit this is for the stage it's cool pretty freaking gnarly not gonna lie you go through a lot of trouble to make it look this way uh, and you, you do so because uh you want to compete so that's like my contest prep physique uh again real only purpose like i wouldn't rock this on vacation it, it's, it's like that stage and, and for me, that, that's going to be like roughly under 163 pounds. So I'm like from 159 to 163, somewhere in there is my uh, contest uh, stage ready physique. The other physique is going to be kind of like my tweener, my Cancun Open, uh, where I will cut down to in the off season. And I like this physique because it's pretty sustainable. If I want to rock it for a little bit, uh, I still perform really well. My strength to weight ratio is probably the most favorable there. Uh, and that's going to be somewhere in the high 170s, low 180s. Then there is, I love this physique. And it's just as much as I love my contest prep physique. That is like my full house, a 190 and up. Love that physique. I feel like a house, like, especially like out in public. It's like, I just take up space, dude. And when it comes to uh, doing some cool things for me in the gym, like that's most likely where they're to take place. And if we're being quite honest, that is where I need to float around in order to make the most changes to my physique. That is where like, like recovery, 
is like the most predictable uh where like my body can just take the best pounding that is where i do the majority of my good work and because i spend a lot of time there in the off season that is why my physique looks the way it looks so but problem is i'm 160. so again i'm gonna rush into that cancun open shape literally overnight two three weeks and from there try to slowly kick uh into a more <laughs> At that point, I'm gonna want it. I'm gonna be done with food, man. Uh, into a, um, yeah, more, like, I guess, long-term rate of gain. Uh, yeah, once I'm like somewhere in the mid 170s. And to be honest, at that point, my body just really starts to slow down and it's like, oh, I have to power feed. But I'm gonna gain somewhere between 10 to 12 pounds, like in the first two to three weeks. Uh, not all of it will be fat, but a lot of it will be fat for sure. But that's what I want, right? Because I don't want to look the same next time I compete. Sounds very cutthroaty. I know I'm making it seem like it's easy. Like, yeah, just going to, you know, put on like <laughs> as much body fat in the span of two, three weeks. As much body fat as I would put on like legit, like during a full on gaming phase. But again, that's what the situation calls for. And like, hey, like. My physique, it's it's a very sports specific physique. Like, like it has no other purpose. The same way a power lifter looks at their squat, bench, and deadlift. So it's almost like it's it's just a thing. It really is. Like it, it is a tool, a skill, a trait that your sport requires. Uh, gets easier, man. It gets a lot easier. I know as I'm saying this, I'm saying it like in a very nonchalant way. This is just what I'm going to do because this is what needs to be done. Wasn't always that way. But we'll say this. The more of these phases you go through where you're there's too much food and then there's not enough food and there's just uh, like, like excess body fat and then like less body fat than your body would like eventually uh it just becomes another phase and you really start to understand that like this is a continuum and that's why when it comes to like post-show and like what am i gonna eat what am i most excited about uh to be honest like I, I don't really even think about that anymore just because i've been through enough of these like overfed underfed overfed underfed uh, sort of deals it is just like yeah like yeah on to the next one really and you if you compete you need to look at your learn to look at your physique uh, or at least a segment of you needs to learn to look at your physique at the same way uh, you know we said it before a baseball player looks at their curveball their fastball what I'm most excited about is just moving on to the next project it's like okay we got our fill I think for the most part, when it comes to this prep, we did our job, and yeah, let's uh, let's get on to that that next project. Like that's what I'm most excited about, uh, and like legit, I mean it. If there was a pill that I could take, and this is where you want to be at some point, that you know, like you could just skip through all the pancakes. Like I would down that pill so quickly, and then just be chilling. So. Yeah, realistically, uh, I think I'll feel normal in like two, three weeks. Uh, I, I think when it comes to the system as a whole, outside of what I can actually feel, uh, it'll probably take uh, about four to six weeks before like the system is like now adapting uh, my training. I'm using my training here uh, at a rate that like I'm used to. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I guess. That's gonna be on the nutritional side of things when it comes to the body comp side of things. Training, let's get into training. I forgot to mention this because people are interested in, in the numbers, uh, even if they're not necessarily, these figures aren't relevant to, to, to you. Um, well, lowest my calories got during this prep, weekly average of about 27, 2800 calories. Uh, over the last three weeks, I've been slowly tapering that food up, gaining fullness getting rid of some of that excess water retention. And every day at this point, I'm eating about 31 to 3,200 calories. 
I will right away go back to calories over like 4,000, give or take. I won't be as like aware of what I'm eating. This is kind of generally like where my baseline habits tend to sit because that keeps me somewhere in the middle of that full house state and the contest prep. So that will jet me into the mid 170s. Be a pretty big surplus for sure. Um, it would be more days at 4,500, absolutely. And, uh, and then, yeah, eventually I'll kind of grow into that intake and uh, things will start to slow down. So, um, so yeah, about 4,000 to 4,500 calories. Again, check out the link I put up in the, in the very beginning of this video when it comes to our course uh, explicitly discussing. It's a free course too, the recovery diet. All right, let's get into training because there will be some modifications there as well. So as discussed, like, it's not IHOP or anything that I'm really craving. I just want my old life back and a little more probably to start just because prep does take up a lot of your time. So training, it's going to be fun because I am going to put my skills to the test, both in regards to programming uh, and also in regards to like how lethal can I be with my focus and my reps. I'm going to go down to three days a week of training uh, from the end of the contest prep all the way until probably mid-January. I'm really crossing my fingers that this works really well because I wouldn't mind writing that for a while. And, you know, if, if I can get about the same doing less, why not? Um, so, yeah. And, and again, it's like I... Rather, like, it's kind of like investing. Like, I'd rather make the majority, especially when it comes to bodybuilding. I'll do some risque things here and there uh, because I'm a curious person and, and because, hey, you know, it's like I'm, I'm, I don't have the best genetics on this planet. So I'm willing to take a few risks here and there uh, for the sake of being able to inch my way a little bit closer to, like, the top guys at this in this sport. Uh, but generally speaking, like, hey, you know, I'm gonna invest in the slow and steady, uh, the, 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 you know, like, I guess going like NFT relative uh, or the S&P 500 relative to like investing in NFTs, right? It's like, hey, I'm sure some people made that work, uh, but hey, like this path here, uh, pretty well carved out, like, let's go with that. So um, training wise, uh, it, it's been good. It's been good, like, I am doing, a whole lot of tracing with my loads still. Like I'm not trying to uh, do new things. Um, I'd say overall, like my off season strength is about nine, it, my current strength, my on season strength is about 90% of what it is in the off season. Uh, so not bad, especially considering the fact that I am holding back. Um, yeah, I do have a few things that are kind of bugging me. Like one is my right elbow, but it, it's gotten a lot better. Uh, one of the reasons that like, I'm, pausing these things excessively long and uh yeah usually just less total reps over the course of the week which will happen with three days a week of training uh will let these things kind of heal up a little bit um but i'm excited to make it work and i'm excited in regards to like how much that opens up my time uh whether it comes to like projects that have been you know like work projects that are extracurricular that I've had to kind of push away in the later stages of prep uh, when it comes to, shoot, just like getting my <laughs> certain aspects of my adult life back. Like it, it, it's, it'd be nice to like, hey, you know, it's a nice day. Instead of going to the gym, let me uh, enjoy this uh, <laughs> beautiful winter hike, which is a thing here in Colorado. It's not a frozen tundra all the time. You get some cracks in the winter and it'd be nice to like, hey, just add a little bit more like random sporadic things back into my life, which I severely miss. Also, it's gonna give me a chance to really hone in on, since I'm training less, on things outside the gym. Uh, namely for me, it's gonna be sleep. Uh, also, like from a nutritional standpoint, uh, I, I like to be a little bit uh, better about spreading my intake and just keeping, uh, yeah, have, what powers me most of the time because uh, I suspect this is a rock for, for me to to yeah to, to roll over and there might be some good stuff there 
uh, to, to just have a more fluid intake in the off season as opposed to, uh, you know, kind of going uh, by feel as much as I usually do. It's not going to be a huge change, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want to have these peaks and valleys uh, when it comes to, you know, like how many calories I'm eating throughout the day because, man, especially the longer you've been doing this, it's like you need to maximize that time in between sessions, like to get every every little bit of those adaptations so uh again like i'm focusing on the last 10 percent of things uh, i think for most folks it wouldn't make that big of a difference but for me it's one of those things where like nothing to lose so i, I really want to just um, get better at sleep stress management um, certain aspects of my nutrition and when i'm only training three days a week it's going to force me to do that so that's my exit plan two more weeks left of this two more weeks can you believe that guys and then off to get big and strong again, which I can't wait for. Finally, since we're talking about the other side of this um, prep, I do want to keep my vlogs rolling. They're probably going to be on a monthly basis simply because this allows me, because I think you guys learn a lot from seeing me do my thing, but I, I think what would be even more helpful for you guys is like, hey, let me touch up on these topics that just are these reoccurring issues uh that i see other people are having so you can learn a lot from seeing someone who's been doing it for a while do their thing uh but i want it to be less about me and more about how i can serve you guys and yeah no prep is going to open up a lot more bandwidth up here for for that sort of stuff so really looking forward to that uh because yeah i've gotten better at this youtube thing uh from the start of the prep until now and hey, I gotta keep going with it because that's how you get good at anything. You just gotta keep doing it, keep doing it, keep showing up. And I need to have some sort of consistency, some sort of presence out here um, because yo, it, 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 it helps you guys. And whether you know it or not, indirectly, just by tuning in, uh, just by sharing this, um, like you help me out, you help the team out. So you guys are, very much appreciated and i cannot wait to be of more use to you guys